Citrus TV Sports Report. Welcome back. I'm Chris Venzen. Today offers a very important opportunity for Syracuse basketball. The Orange has a chance to win its first conference tournament game since Cuse moved to the ACC in 2013. In Syracuse's way stands Wake Forest, a team SU has already played twice this season. The Orange came away with one win and one loss between those contests, but with one key difference in each game. Syracuse's two guards, Tyus Battle and Frank Howard, combined for 35-plus points in both matchups. But in their game that SU won, the pair nailed 62% of their three-point attempts. In the games Cuse lost, the duo combined for just 40% from downtown. So you probably can imagine what type of performance Jim Beheim wants out of his backcourt this evening, and he said as much after the Clemson win. Take a listen. It was just one of those games where we struggle. When our guards struggle like that to shoot, uh, it's hard for us to win. You know, 5 for 24 for 14, it's very hard for us to win. We're about as challenged offensively as you can be. So Syracuse needs a stellar performance from its guards tonight to be successful. Right now we're joined by Citrus TV basketball reporter Christian de Guzman live from Barclays Center. Christian, you've covered this team all season. Do you, how do you expect Tyus Battle and Frank Howard to perform tonight? Well, Chris, I expect Tyus Battle and Frank Howard to have a good game offensively. It's really defensively to see whether this team can really succeed against Wake Forest. Brian Crawford, Mitchell Wilbekin, really two of uh, many three-point shooters that this Wake Forest team has. Wake Forest shoots 45% against Syracuse this year from the three-point range. So really, can Tyus Battle and Frank Howard step up defensively is going to be the key to this game. And really, if Syracuse can pull out a victory against the Demon Deacons. Yeah, this team, very, both of these teams very familiar with each other. They've seen each other three times this year. Tell us something that fans don't know about the Demon Deacons. Chris, take a look at Doral Moore. Doral Moore had 16 points and 16 rebounds back on February 11th when Syracuse played Wake Forest. It was a 78-70 to 70 win for Syracuse, but seriously, it's a big mismatch with Pascal Chico, who's not that strong. Even though he had an okay game defensively last time out against Clemson, Ram Sadibe still have any deep troubles. Doral Moore could really be a key factor for Wake Forest's success in this game against Syracuse. Okay, Christian, so Syracuse has won five out of its six matchups against Wake since it moved into the ACC. Can the Orange make it six out of seven? What's your prediction? Well, I got Syracuse eking it out just close. I'm going 65-63 Syracuse because I think Syracuse has a lot of momentum on its side. After that very big Clemson win 55-52 back in the Carrier Dome on Saturday, I think Syracuse is riding a lot of momentum. I think those role players like Marek Dolajai, Matthew Moore eventually step up and drive the Syracuse team to victory other than the already great production that you get from O'Shea Brissett, Frank Howard, and Tyus Battle. Syracuse should win this game, but I think it's going to be close and low scoring. Christian, thank you so much Take for your time today. Enjoy the game, my friend. Have a great one.